What is going on everybody, Dan with Gear Focus here and I've got another short, quick DaVinci Resolve tutorial for you. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to edit vertical content. So vertical content is becoming increasingly popular in the social media world. So as a videographer or a content creator, you're probably going to have to edit in some kind of vertical format at some point in the relatively near future if you haven't done so already. So let's say you've made a video in its normal 16 by nine format, but now you wanna make a preview of that to put on your Instagram stories or your Facebook stories or something like that. It's really simple to do. So let's go ahead and jump into DaVinci Resolve. So once we're inside the software, you'll see that I already have my timeline and my edit done. This was for a video that we already already put up on the channel a few days ago. You can see that it is in the 16 by nine format and I have a timeline that is set up in that format. Now, if I wanted to make a vertical preview of this, what I would need to do is create a new timeline. If you go and you try to change your timeline settings through the project settings, it's going to do all of your timelines together and we don't want that. We just want one timeline. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to our media pool and we're going to right click and go to timelines and then we're gonna create new timeline. This one I'm gonna name vertical. So now that you have your name picked out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unselect use project settings. This is gonna give you a whole bunch of new options. So we're gonna head over to the format tab and we're gonna change our resolution. Now something I do wanna mention is every time that I've tried to export 4K vertical content in DaVinci Resolve, my computer has crashed, both here on my laptop and on the big editing machine upstairs. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but whenever I export it in 1080 in vertical, it's totally fine. Just something that I wanted to mention to you guys. So all we have to do is switch our resolution. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this first number 1080 and the second number 1920. We're still gonna use 24 frames a second. Everything else is gonna stay the same. It's just we're flipping those two numbers. So now I have all of my clips on this timeline, but if I scroll over them, you'll see that it's just a windowed view of what this is. You can just go ahead and change your positioning and your zoom in your effects tab or your inspector tab over there on the side. Now, if you are on a 1080 timeline, you're looking at somewhere about a 3.2 zoom and that will fill your entire timeline. Now there are ways to do all of your clips all at the same time. So once you have your first clip formatted, what we can do is we can go ahead and right click on that clip and hit copy. Then our next step is to take all of the clips we want to adjust, highlight them, right click, and we're gonna hit paste attributes. So under this tab, we're gonna select our zoom and our scale X and Y and hit apply. So now if you see all of the footage is all zoomed in to where it needs to be on the timeline. Now for things where it was filling up your screen vertically, you are going to have to readjust that, but if your subject is centered in your screen, there's not a whole lot of adjusting that you need to do. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for me today. I hope you liked this video. If there's any other tips or tricks that you wanna see in either DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro, let me know down in those comments down below and I will do my best to make those tutorials happen for you. I know you guys like the short, fast tutorials that are short, sweet, and to the point, so I wanna to continue to give you guys that content. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because that stuff really does help us out here on the channel. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, and remember, Gear Focus is always here to help you feed your passion. Peace.